Yo guys, what is up? Shake and Make back, and today we are going to be buying and selling guys on the market, and this is a new, new, new video series that I'm doing, and I'm going to be telling you guys how to make VC with the market by buying and selling these guys, and what I basically do is I look for players who did really bad that night, so it was opening light night last night, and there was only three games, so there was only six teams, and only a few players did really bad, their value just significantly dropped, but... Those players were Jody Meeks, uh, Luke Walton, Mike Miller, and, and a few more. And CJ Miles, his value dropped a lot. And these guys were originally, when the game first came out, 850. Then a couple nights later, they were 800. And some of these guys were 600 before the season started. But CJ Miles was 800 coins. And that makes me think his value can easily just as well go up to 800 coins in a few nights. Because you see players like uh, Pau Gasol had a really good game last night. He went up 300 coins in that really, really good game. And while I don't expect uh, CJ Miles to go out and have a near triple-double and go up 300 coins, he might have a decent 10-point game sometime in the future, whether it's Friday, Saturday, next Wednesday. And, you know, his value might start hovering around back to where it was. He might gain 50 coins overnight. I could sell him right then. I made myself 50 coins automatically. It's all about knowing when to sell the guys and knowing when to cut your losses. I mean, obviously, if Luke Walton... He is playing terrible, and you think he's going to get shipped to the D-League? You, you didn't make money off him. I mean, it's 200 coins, though. If you're really worried about losing 200 coins, then, yeah, you're not going to... This isn't for you. Don't try this. It, you have to be willing to risk a couple hundred coins to do this. I mean, if you do this correctly, though, you can make a couple hundred coins a day, 500 coins a night, maybe, depending on how many players you buy. And that can really pay off over the next few days. And I'm going to be recording everyone I buy over the next few weeks. And I'm going to be letting you guys know how I'm doing, how much money I've made. And basically, if you guys should do this. I think you should. The players I bought were Jody Meeks, Luke Walton, and uh, CJ Miles and Mike Miller. Now, obviously, their value is pretty low right now. I mean, 250 for Luke Walton, 425 for the other guys. And that's pretty bad. But if they have a good game in the future, tomorrow night, the next night, their value could easily skyrocket back to 600 coins. Then you sell them, you automatically made some money, and you could keep doing this. Players are doing bad, and you think they might do good in a couple nights from now. As you guys start to get better at this, you can start using gold and uh, silver players. Also, you can buy and start selling some of them back as you get more coins and you've been building coins up. But you have to be really careful when buying big players like that because... If they get injured and they're out for the season or they're out for an extended period of time, you can't sell them and you basically lost all your monies on them because you can't play them in games either. They're injury locked. So you got to really be careful with that. And of course, be sure to subscribe if you already haven't so you can see more of these videos. I'll let you know how I'm doing. I'm going to be recording all of my VC that I've gotten, I've spent, and that I've made off of this series and buying and selling players in the Market Watch. And I want you guys to do the same so you guys can tell me how you've been doing, who you've been buying, and who do you think you're going to buy out of this group? And le just let me know. Tell me if you're going to go buy some of these guys. And I will, of course, respond to those and tell you if I think it's a good idea, bad idea. But peace out, and thank you again for watching.